Uh, I'm Bink and we're sitting in the original black and white at 83 Victoria Street in Christchurch. Well I started black and white, uh, I just arrived back from overseas and there was a need for a new um, cafe scene in Christchurch. We launched using a coffee supplier. We then got wind of micro roasting coffee and things so we ended up putting a micro coffee roaster in here and changed from the, um, the conventional supplier model to micro roasting. Oh, so I'm Ruben Thorne. Um, I'm one of the original owners and uh, director of Black and White Systems. Um, this is the original store that we started way back um, and it's evolved into a franchise company now, so it's been a, quite an exciting journey. Yeah, I, I think you know, when you walk in here, it doesn't matter whether you're wearing a suit or work boots or whatever, everybody feels comfortable. It's just got that feel about it, you know, it's, it's not pretentious um, and you, know, you, you walk in and you've got great coffee, good service, funky atmosphere. Um, and it's different, you know, people remember it. When they go to Black and White, they remember what it's like. Um, and everybody feels comfortable and welcome. So that's, that's why it'll work anyway. Black and White really provides an opportunity for a franchisee to um, protect their margin and have a successful business. And we, and we do that by allowing them to micro roast on site. Um, so rather than just buying roasted coffee beans and then making a margin on turning it into a cup of coffee, we allow the franchisee to uh, roast, given training, obviously, um, but to roast the beans themselves and make a margin on the on the roasting plus a margin on the cup of coffee. And that's perhaps the, the key unique difference between a black and white coffee cartel franchise and another coffee brand franchise. Going into black and white buying franchise, I thought it would be really daunting but it's complete opposite. It's a turnkey solution. They let you work with them as much as you want or as little as you want. And we wanted to be quite involved on like the shop layout and how it was looked and how it was designed and where our artwork would go. So they let us help heaps or what colored cups we want. We popped in the local um, supplier in Queenstown and brought what we wanted there. We wanted beer bottle crates with our lights and because the shops are creative and they're designed to have a soul from their owner, they allow you to pretty much submit any ideas and go ahead with them. There's obviously still some standard stuff, but do what we like. Make it cool. It's different enough that you stand out, but it's comfortable enough that everybody can go there and feel welcome and, and really enjoy themselves. Yeah, look, it, it's got potential to be as big as we want it to be, you know. Um, if people keep getting on board and, and really enjoying it, um, it could go global for sure. But for now, you know, we want to deliver quality experience uh, New Zealand wide. So the next target is North Island. Having 12 cafes operating in the South Island, Black and White Coffee Cartel is now looking for expressions of interest from franchisees keen to join the group in the North Island. If you feel like joining Black and White Coffee Cartel and being part of the third wave of coffee franchises, send us an email and I'll get back to you.